Hey there, gamers. Mark the Lone Gamer here, and we are back in our new Skyrim modded Let's Play with Celine Shieldbreaker, Thane of Valheim Keep. Well, Thane of White Ren, of course, but she is definitely the Lord of Valheim Keep because she does live here, or she at least has a player home here. Anyway, in the last episode... I lost my mother to bandits like these. Don't leave a single one alive. Right. In the last episode, Celine tangled with the giants at nearby Golden Rock and took them down. And then we went into a rather large bandit hideout known as Lost Knife Cave and we also took them down and full disclosure we went back to White Run to do some uh, selling and we, more importantly we gave over the Skyforge Steel Greatsword that we were gifted by Jarl Balgriff here we gave it over to War Maidens for upgrade for upgrading of course it won't be as good as uh, it can be because uh, war maidens isn't that great a smith or or they they're not that great at uh, smithing not as great as Yorlin Greymane but unfortunately we're not the companion yet so well, in the future we'll upgrade our sword to the best but for now okay anyway here Valtime Keep is constantly being attacked by bandits and which is fortunate that there is a rather large company of white run guards here so they can basically overwhelm most attacks and uh, when we come here we get loot and this last bandit raid gave us this where is it yes a necklace of waning fire so that gives us 30 percent resistance and what else so we have a shield the shield gives us 22 additional resistance then we have 25 with our perk in alteration so i think we're we can basically we should be impervious to fire. If we're attacked by an ice dragon, well, that's another story. Anyway, all right. So, and we have a home base here. We can continue our journeys east. And hopefully, this time we'll go farther than we have in past episodes. Maybe we can try to get to Iverstead. Oh, you look like a... Who are you? A Vigilant of Stendar. Hmm. Look more like a dark mage. Anyway, there's... There seems to be a lot more traffic along the way. I think that may be because... Uh, Celine opened up this way, this road, from being controlled by bandits and now the white Grand guard has a really stronger presence here so there should be more travelers coming through Valtime keep there's still that strange dragon who does nothing but sleep all day so that's fine oh, what's going on um why ah whoa whoa all right what's that a bandit all right whoa all right that is a nice staff you have there Staff of the Minor Daedra? Oh, 
take it. Alright, not so bad. It's Oh, that's your stone skin spell or something. Alright. Another bandit attack. Maybe they were on their way. Ooh. I think we have an armor upgrade. Hmm. Thank you for your contribution. Same. House Carl. Alright. Bandit Vacated Initiate. Ooh, Elven Mace. Well, these bandits are getting more well armed every day. Let's put you here at the side. Should not impede traffic. Alright. So let's, um,. Take a look at our new stuff. Ah, wait, wait, wait. We already had these kinds of boots already. Alright, and we can How do we look? Oh, we look amazing. We're missing the helmet, but the helmet really isn't that good. Look at us! Alright, uh, we're going to upgrade that as soon as we can. Uh, but right now I guess we can still... Without any upgrades, this is just as good as our current armor. Yeah, it's... We're fine. I mean, it's... It will probably be better once we have it upgraded. I think this will take uh, Quicksilver. Oh, anyway. Come on. Oh. Can't leave this person here. Alright. Alright, let's uh, have a meal first before we continue. Fishy sticks. That's food, that's medium, and won't spoil. Alright. It's already quite fruitful, even if we haven't reached Iverstead yet. Very nice armor. It might be look a bit too well more advanced than usual. But it's fine. Maybe we could actually give it to Lucian. Who are you people? Ah, uh, Stormcloaks. Yeah, I think maybe Lucian. It's more suited to him. But then he's a mage. We've, we've already given him robes. I think he's fine with robes. And he's more for staying out of the melee range and just throwing his projectiles but I'm I'll be happier once we can get him away from using hailstones which seem to have a bit of a spread and keeps getting uh, Zora angry at him if not uh, Lydia now mod wise we installed a mod called the chill pill um, which sounds funny but it actually is really really amazing um, it should not be installed as an actual power in game uh, we have it as a power um, it should be just something used as a tool because what you can do with it it, it basically is a calm spell and you can use it to stop unwanted brawls or fights between your followers 
uh, with uh, friendly NPCs that just accidentally happen and it's really really It's really helpful. I've uh, we haven't you haven't seen it yet. We haven't shown it in any episodes, but I do have it. I tested it out. I had several uh, test plays with it, and it works really well. So it's a spell that uh, it's a calm spell or power, which should not. What's this? Please, someone, help me! Which shouldn't affect. Uh, help! <coughs> help me! Um, uh, who are you? What are you doing? Um. I was cooped up in White Run for too long. It's going to be traveling again. They made me do it! Run! I need to run! Oh! Oh, whoa, 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 all right. Where's that prisoner? Oh, where are you? Oh. Please, don't kill me. All right, we won't kill you. I'm not gonna kill you. <laughs> what? Ah. And there we go. <laughs> ah. Yeah, there we go. Hey, stop it! Alright. Zora? Please don't murder Lucian when he accidentally hits us with his hailstone spell. He doesn't mean to hurt us. We're better than that, alright? Lucian? Anyway, is there anything we can do? Uh, unfortunately, Hailstone is not part. I, I really regret giving him that spell. Uh, is there a way to actually reset him? Uh, in at least no, I, I, we could turn him into a fighter, but no, no. We just have to live with it. That, that's why we have the power. Thank you, Silu, for the for the recommending that, and uh, it, it will be invaluable. But yeah, I will only use it to stop the, those uh, that. Stupid, uh, these stupid brawls that happen. We should get this shield. Hmm. Nah. Alright. Where's the bear? Oh, we also uh, installed. Immersive interactions. So now you can see our uh, our player character doing um, very immersive animations when she does things. So when she loots someone or a body, she'll kneel down. If she takes something from a from a chest and so forth. This mod is actually only usable if you have Dar or dynamic animation replacer which was broken the latest one was broken but uh, I installed an older version 
and I think it it works for the version of Skyrim SE that we have. So, so yeah, we have we have it. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, what is this place? Looks like a settlement. It's kind of dark. So maybe we can stay there for the night. Is that a dragon? Huh. All right. Do these people are living near a dragon? All right. Hello, everyone. Hello. This better be good. Hmm. All right. Maybe we can stay here. We can set up the tent. But before we set up the tent and call it a day, let's uh, explore the area. Uh, Stormcloak. So this is this is Stormcloak territory because um, we are in East March, and East March is the hold where Ophic Stormcloak is the Jarl. I know that the the Atronach Stone is here. Maybe we should get the Atronach Stone. I just did. Whoop. What? Whoop. What? Can we please get our sword out? Alright. So the wolf had a ring. My wrist. That way, it was that one's head. Alright. Where? Is that? Uh, it's Lucian. You can tell from the big glowing gem on his back. Let's try to find. Maybe we can uh, attract the dragon's attention. And let's hope that it's a fire dragon. Because if it's a fire dragon, then we can test out our fire resistant equipment. Ooh, there it is! There's the Atronach stone. Oh, what? Why? Whoa! Whoa! All right, we've come a long way since our first encounter with a uh, Daedroth. <laughs> And Selena's grown a lot stronger. Dig the heart, we can use that. Hmm. This might be a bit redundant since we can already conjure a Daedroth Lord. Maybe we can teach it to Lucian. Alright. Atronach Stone. Those under the sign of the Atronach absorb a portion of incoming spell damage. We have a larger pool of magicka, but we'll cover it more slowly. Alright. We've had the warrior stone for quite a while. Maybe it's time for a change. And Lucian, can we teach you that spell? I don't think Lydia likes me. I don't think Zora likes you either. Take whatever you need. Alright, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, shall we continue your training? Already? Oh. I still haven't finished digesting our last lesson. I, we... Perhaps another time? Oh, yeah, yeah, we taught him... Uh oh We taught him lesser, lesser ward What's earlier. That? Off screen. Sorry. Alright, where is the dragon? Uh oh! Oh no, it's an ice dragon. Of course it is. 
Of course it's an ice dragon. Uh, who are you? Whoa. No, 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 no. Whoa. Alright, that was Lucian. Come on, Lucian. Why is that your favorite spell? Oh. Whoa. Oh! Ooh, you were, uh, you were attacking with. Uh, whoa! Uh, damn it! All right. I like I like the talkative dragon spell uh, mod. It makes the dragons that much more. Whoa! 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 More entertaining to fight. Alright, maybe we do we have cover here? Come on. Ah! What the hell, man? <laughs> Alright. Um Where is he? Alright. I'm facing you! Facing your butt! Uh. Alright, that... That was a legitimate win for Celine. She took everything that she threw at her and she... I'm fairly sure she killed him by herself. So this is a win that Celine can really be proud of. <sighs> yes, indeed. Very much so. All right. Uh, I don't know. We can sell that. All right. Are we okay? Do we have... Yeah, she, he was like breathing on her over and over and over and she she wasn't prepared exactly for his uh, f ice attacks though to be fair she does have a bit of ice resistance she she has a perk uh, alter resistances she has she has uh, the cloak all right uh, our our companions all right all right Lydia's alive now, I, I have to say, Lydia, this Lydia, tends to die uh, in dragon attacks. It, it was off screen, always off screen. Where are you? Oh, it's uh, Zora. Where are you going? Alright. It was always off screen, but twice. Uh, it, Twice it has happened that she dies at the end of a dragon attack. Uh, so I'm thinking she's marked un not unessential or just protected. But then I'm fairly sure I didn't hit her. Uh, that last time, a uh, dragon attacked, uh, I think, in Whiterun. Um, and I didn't realize that she died. And uh, I just get this message from a courier. <laughs> That she died. <laughs> so I actually wanted to just leave her uh, in Bree's home. Because I don't want her to die, of course. I don't want a house to lose a house, Carl. But, uh, well, then again, I still want her around. I want to see her dialogue. Alright, uh, where's the lair? I know there's a lair. Ah! 
That's not time! Not survive a dragon and die to a freaking bear. Alright, All right. I think um, where's the map? I don't know where the dragon's lair is. Let's try to find it. But since we freed. Since we've killed the dragon, I think we've earned our rest at the, that that town. We don't have to. I mean, we are, I want to find. Oh, there's Lucian. I know that dragon has a lair here. Lucian, are you all right? Yes, you're all right. This place is just full of surprises. And we are t we are tired, so we should get some rest. Ooh, what's this? Ah, some ruins. Of course, there's always something dangerous in ruins. Whoa, that's a very fast skeleton. that Ooh. Ooh. Ah, all right whoa another dragon what why why are there two dragons Um, uh, play match your neck. Oh, we also uh, installed a new uh, magic animation mod. So our magic casting will look a, a bit cooler. Right, I know that that doesn't cause any damage, but makes me feel better Ooh. All right. I think our there no I don't think so uh oh you seem to be a lot stronger we need to have let's eat Let's, um, stamina, I guess. Alright, come on. Come on, face me. Face her. There you go. I'm very sure Celine is stronger. Our first cinematic kill. All right. Now, if there was any doubt that Celine really is Dragonborn, 
I think they've been extinguished. No, honestly, <laughs> that was badass. <sighs> All right. Not bad, not bad at all. And uh, let's save. All right. Now let's continue looking for that damn shrine. Uh, I mean, lair. Is this it? No, that's not it. That is a fort. You know, we're, we're not prepared to take on a fort. Come on, let's go. Looking for a shrine. Uh, I mean, why do I keep saying shrine? The lair of this dragon. Yes, two dragons in one night. And Celine killed them both by herself. Or, well, of course her companions were around, but... I think everyone can see, has seen, that um, Celine is flying. I mean, Celine is, uh, was more or less uh, the one who killed both of them. But of course, she's fine with having her companions share. Where? Where are we? <laughs> Isn't this supposed to be the lair? Alright, uh, we're kind of lost. Uh oh, let's not... Uh oh, come on, uh, Zora. Let's not die from falling off cliff not after killing two dragons uh, what's that is that dark water crossing or is that the hunter camp no that's a giant camp uh, it's so dark if this was uh, if it was brighter, we we could of course easily see. So let's uh, let's just set set a camp for the night because uh, we are tired. I think this is a good place to camp. Come on, people. Alright. Uh, do we lie down? Maybe that'll get everyone to come. No, let's just sleep. <laughs> Six hours. Alright. All right, everyone's here, I think. Let's turn off our lantern. Zora, where's Zora? I saw her there. Anyway, now that it's daylight, maybe we can tell where we are. All right, this, uh-oh. We are one-handing our sword. What the hell is that? What is going on? Um. All right, Lucian, I must applaud you for your amazing magic. Is 
Isn't that supposed to be the dragon lair? Oh, wait, no, no, it's there. All right, let's go. I think this entire episode is just us exploring this place. Which is fine because this is a rather large area. I think one of those dragons was a random dragon and one of them was the dragon that lived here. That is wild. Steal yourself. I don't like the looks of this. Uh, don't worry, we've already killed the dragon. Sword away. Frost breath. Uh, you'd think that in a place like this they give us fire breath. No, it's it's kind of that crappy fire breath smell. Uh, frost breath. Let's let's give it a try though. At least, actually, that's not bad because frost breath at least can cause damage. Uh, unrelenting force doesn't cause damage. Staff of Hush. Huh. Well. Ooh, nice. Right, I think that might be better than what we have. Um, but what we have, though has fire resistance as you as you saw fire resistance was really was a big no no it's better was a big help in our fight with that dragon so until we get a uh, twin enchantment one good thing would be to have uh, to have different items that you can quickly equip which have different resistances of course it's a bit expensive to do that uh, in terms of soul gems but uh, it would help um, there's something else here now we haven't seen Zora I'm not worried about her because she's kind of uh, stronger than she looks. I'm I'm not as worried of uh, Zora as I am worried with Lydia, because Lydia. You're used to heavy armor, are you? Yeah, I'm not. I can help you get your plates adjusted if you'd like. No, we're fine. Maybe they. They did that on purpose that Lydia is a bit seems to be a bit uh, I wouldn't say arrogant but she she is a bit slightly full of herself but so far she hasn't been that strong I mean I, I, Lydia will always be Lydia she's she's a very more than decent where is the... Is there supposed to be something here? Yep. Yeah, there. Where is the spider cave? What's with this? these uprooted trees? I'm, I'm just uh, assuming that's uh, because of the dragon or because of the earthquakes. Let's see. Is that a cave? No? I heard a... I heard a sound, the dungeon sound. Or is that just the whole place?
Yeah, there's supposed to be a vampire lair or something here. Wait, it's not that big a deal. Oh, was it the... Was one of the dragons from this? Huh. Well, you, Celine wouldn't know that because she hasn't been told that those uh, mounds are where dragons come from. So uh, that's just me. Don't mind it. Dragon. Still blows my mind we had to face two dragons. And that Celine defeated them both. She is badass. She's gotten a lot stronger. Yeah, lots of uprooted trees. It's weird. Whoa, 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 kept missing. It's annoying. Good morning, and away we go. Good morning. Where's Zora? Where's my barbarian warrior girl? I lived in Skyrim my whole life and never left. I'd like to visit Cyrodiil someday though. My father told me to visit Westwall before the Thalmor invade again. Anyway. Maybe we should go back to Darkwater Crossing and maybe wait for her there. Maybe we've done enough for the day. We should continue onward to Iverstead. And we actually haven't had breakfast yet. So we got ourselves a new Standing Stone Power. We killed two dragons. Got a bit of loot. I think uh, that's a lot for the day. I think we should continue on our journey. We shouldn't stay here too long. Maybe we should face a, a giant. <laughs> we'll probably get, get killed. Aww. Now this... This scene really is, I, I guess it's obvious that they're putting out that the giants murdered this uh, caravan. So the giants can really be dangerous. Unfortunately, we're not going there. We're going to uh, Iverstead. You're just going to leave me here to die? How could you? Oh, well, all right, fine. Please. Uh, thank you, traveler. Thank you so much. Uh, Windhelm? You adventurer. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, 
Hmm. Something to note. Right, uh, at least that saves us a uh, trip to Windhelm. <laughs> Let's take out that giant. Of course, uh, let's uh, save. I'm fairly sure this giant can kill us in, in one shot. so hard but of course if if that giant hit us with an unblocked hit with the club we'd be dead <sighs> all right uh, a bit too heavy uh, Lucian good afternoon it's afternoon of course uh, take that Take that. Take those. Actually, give me the arrows. I wonder if you actually use these. And, uh, yeah, give me that. On we go. Alright. Ah, so many of these great axes. Uh, they're actually valuable. Uh, Lydia. Still here. Yes. Right. The other part of my job. All right. Let's go. Yep, and yes, the evidence that the giant here, the giant here was a murderer. Still no Zora. All right, let's head back to Darkwater Crossing. Hopefully, she'll meet us there. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see. Here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Ooh, our sword is done. There you are. Still Zora. Here. Has got your back. I do. Well, you were missing for a while. But I'm you glad you're here. Fire. Anyway, so we have Zora back. I think it's time for us to continue. Check. There are no notable NPCs here. At least they're not showing up. I, mean, I think that's it. Ah, uh, an imperial here in Skyrim. Be careful. The very sight of you stirs the emotions of many who call this province home. Um, probably an interesting NPC. Yeah, well, it's, a, it's, a, it's an imperial. Maybe I'll we'll talk to her in uh, in a future in a future role play. Anyway, time to go. So, 
I actually want to go back to White Red and get our new sword. But uh, we'll save that for when we get back to White Red, naturally. I think uh, we're fine currently. Can we make it to Iverstead by the end of the episode? I am not sure. Let's try to. Who are you? Uh. Oh, Lucian used the staff. <laughs> oh, all right. Oh, come on. All right, there we go again. Stop it. Apparently the Wraith didn't get the memo. When Celine says stop, you say how how fast do I stop? <laughs> anyway, yeah. Chill pill invaluable. What are you? What could a Khajiit? A very valuable sword. Alright. Alright, anyway, continue. Iverstead. It's actually quite a bit off, but uh, let's go as far as we can go. Wow, look at that. Amazing. Alright people, let's go. Now, Celine has uh, been able to do a lot of things. What is going on? Lots of strange things happening on the way to Ivers then. And what is this? Oh, I think Celine remembers that fort that she and the others saw while they were. What? Why? What's going on? What's going on? Come Who is on. It? Who the hell is attacking us? Who is stupid enough to try and attack us? Lucian, I am beginning to once again regret giving you something. Oh, Zora. All right, anyway, she's fine. You're fine. You're tougher than that. Alright. Maybe I should have given that to Lucian, but well. So more bandits. 
Fine clothes. Yeah. You know, might have a party to go to in the future. Anyway, seems that uh, we're not going to reach Iverstead. At least not within the day. Because it seems that uh, Celine has found another place to investigate. But I think we'll leave that for the next episode. This is Mark the Lone Gamer. And I'll be seeing you all back here in our new Skyrim modded Let's Play with Celine Shieldbreaker, Dragon Slayer. Next time.